Okay, so today I decided I'm going to take you through my kitchen and show you what I keep in stock all the time. Um, maybe I'll give you some new ideas and you'll see kind of how I continue and support my healthy eating by what I keep on hand and what I have prepared and ready waiting for me to eat when I need it. So, um, I guess we might as well start with the fridge. So, welcome to my fridge. So, on the top, I've got a bunch of green juice made. <laughs> Usually, I make it every, oh, I don't know, two or three days. Um, I like being able to make a large make a larger batch every few days rather than making it every day because usually something goes wrong and I end up not having time to make it um, if I try and make it every morning. Um, usually my mornings are busy and I like to drink in the morning so I like to just make it in advance. So that's why I have my slow juicers. You can ask me about that if you're interested. Um, but. Back when I used to just have my fast juicer, I used to just make it every day because it doesn't keep well in the fridge. So, um, now I've also got some green smoothies made. <laughs> so I made these just last night so that I always have some in the fridge because, you know, green smoothies is something that you can have at any time. It's going to digest easy even if you're on the run and you don't have time for something and they're awesome. So I always try to keep a few um, smoothies or a couple jars of green smoothies in my fridge each day in case I need them. And if I don't, then Sean can have some too. Um, you know, so what else do I have in my fridge? I've got some kale here. Not sure what I'm gonna make with it. Maybe some kale chips, maybe I'll throw it in some soup. Um, we'll see. Got some mushrooms, some zucchini. Got a couple mangoes. I just bought two big cases of them and I just finished cutting and chopping them up and now they're in my freezer for smoothies and Sean just likes to eat the uh, frozen mango right from the bag, so <laughs> he'll be excited. Mm. I've got two bags of carrots. Um, I've actually got three great big, uh, sorry, turn off my phone. Um, three great big shells or cartons of lettuce. I have a half and half of um, spinach and baby lettuce. And the rest are both spring mixes. I have some homemade iced tea. It's chamomile citrus and dandelion. We got a whole ton of eggs from my auntie. She has chickens at her farm. Um, my mom just brought the bunch up for me. Um, what else do I have? I've got some Greek yogurt. John likes to have a little Greek yogurt for breakfast. Um, got my lemon juice. I like to just throw a splash of this in some water. Um, a little stevia once in a while. Kind of, it's just like a basically kind of like lemonade, only a lot healthier. Um, lots of times I'll use fresh lemons, but when I'm in a rush, this is just as good. Um, a lot of things in the doors I hardly use, but I've got some my favorite pasta sauce. It's just the Oh Organics um, tomato basil. And I've got some salsa, some aloe vera, some chicken broth. I like to use this when I'm cooking in a frying pan. I don't want to add a bunch of oil. Got hot sauce, Sean's favorite. <laughs> um, some um, organic raw cheese. This is 
what I use for Sean. Um, it's, I guess, his favorite. <laughs> I'm not sure what, how to pronounce it, but the Anciter, I don't know. I got it from Alternate Root. Um, oh, I guess I got some kiwi, some pears, celery, a ton of cucumbers for juice, same with the celery. Um, bunch of asparagus, <laughs> and I have a, a ton of romaine lettuce, <sighs> and also I have some parsnips from my parents' garden because apparently parsnips are better in the spring because they um, get sweeter over winter when the ground is super cold and frozen. So. Spring, we finally got them out of the garden and have been using them and loving them. So, perhaps I'll post a recipe of parsnips soon because it's one of my favorite. Um, so, just back to the romaine lettuce. Um, you might have noticed that I have romaine growing in my garden. I posted some pictures on Facebook and um, it's amazing. <laughs> it tastes really, really good in my green juice. And, um, but unfortunately, my large um, romaine that I started at the beginning of the year is just about gone, so I had to start buying some again until my next um, crop of lettuce is ready for me to use. So, that is the story behind my romaine. Um, so, over on the kitchen table, I have a bunch of apples. I don't know if you can see them. And I have some nectar beans and some peaches. Um, I use apples for juicing. I eat them plain. The, rom or the nectarines and the peaches usually just eat them as is. <laughs> Got a nice butternut squash here. Probably just roast it. And always have a ton of lemons for juice and seasoning or flavor, flavoring things for water, um, smoothies, anything. Okay, so back over in this corner, <laughs> I always have a ton of bananas because I love using them for smoothies. Um, I use them just to eat plain. <laughs> Sometimes I'll freeze them and make kind of like a banana ice cream with just a little water if needed if you don't have a high powered blender. If you do have a high powered blender, then you can just blend them. Just pure frozen bananas. So I usually have a ton of bananas. Um, every time I go, I just grab a bundle or if I'm out, I'll grab a variety of ripenesses. Um, so these ones aren't quite ripe enough yet for the way I like to use them. These ones are just perfect. Um, if I don't use these all the day, which I probably won't, um, I'll just peel the rest and throw them in the freezer so that they stay the perfect ripeness rather than getting too ripe and having to, you know, deal with a super brown banana that I don't really want to use. So I just like when they're nice and speckly but not turning black because then they just get a little bit too mushy and, and strong. So that's my banana. Banana story. Um, okay. So, in this drawer here, I've got my Sun Warrior protein. Um, I've got some raw Garden of Life protein. <laughs> and some Vega Sport protein, I believe. Yes. My favorite is the Sun Warrior Warrior blend. I also have some layer bars in here. They make a great on the run snack. When I don't have time to prepare anything or just want to have something that doesn't um, spoil when I'm out of the house or even sometimes when I'm at the house, I will eat them as well. So, in this drawer, I have some brown rice, some white rice. Got a big bag of quinoa, 
buckwheat, some brown rice pasta, um, some quinoa flakes, mm, what else? I guess that's all. I thought there was something else in there. Nope. I guess not. <laughs> and over here, a bunch of spices. I've got some um, unpasteurized honey. And basically just herbs and spices. And then up here, I've got some different oils. I have macadamia nut oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and some of my favorite. Um, basalic vinegars, you can get flavored ones from, I guess it's called olive. And this is also where I keep all my tea, so I, one of my favorites is the chamomile citrus mighty leaf tea. Um, I've got some dandelion tea, I actually really like that. And yeah, basically some olive oil up there too. Some cast iron frying pans, and gosh, I think that's all other than my freezer. I have a few things in there. Uh, some just containers of cooked quinoa for a quick meal or snack if I need some. Uh, frozen berries, I've got raspberries, I've got blueberries, I've got peaches, I've got strawberries, uh, mangoes. I like to use those for my smoothies. Sprouted green bread for Sean. <laughs> some homemade chocolate chip cookies for Sean. I made them with coconut oil and um, just a gluten free flour brand. I don't use any um, wheat flour here just because it's easier for me to avoid it and not get it on anything else. And. Um, I have some nuts, some walnuts, almonds, um, I don't know, basically that's all I have up here. Downstairs I have some beef that's family raised, I have some chicken from Pine View Farms, and I've got some wild salmon in the freezer, and what else do I have downstairs? Yeah, some more frozen fruit and some more nuts. I have some dates in the freezer downstairs. And um, I think that's basically it. <laughs> so I don't have a ton of crazy things, just basically real food hanging out in my kitchen. <laughs> um, if you have healthy food in your kitchen, you're gonna eat healthy food. If you have not so healthy food in your kitchen, you're probably gonna wanna eat it at some point. So. You know, if you want to have a treat once in a while, maybe go out and buy it. Don't keep it at home, otherwise chances are it's going to be eaten at some point. So set yourself up for success. Um, keep your keep some fruit cut and washed in the fridge. Keep your veggies ready to be used. Always have some sort of a plan so you're not hungry and then trying to make a plan because we all know how well that works. As soon as you're hungry, all you want to do is eat, not plan something. So be prepared. You don't have to have everything planned to a tea, but having things in thought or things ready to be cooked or made or set out or things partially prepared is a great way to make sure you're set up for success. So I hope you had got some new ideas and enjoyed a quick tour of my kitchen. Hopefully it didn't get too boring. Hopefully you're still listening. <laughs> okay, so have a great day.